This is the way to start a film. Adrenaline rush, lactate acid in the legs, attacking up famous climbs in West Yorkshire. Oh, legs are starting to die there. Oh my gosh. What on earth is that? I didn't realize these could climb. This is gonna be a killer video. Yeah, you guessed it. Recumbent versus killer climb. It's terrifying. Right, he's got a head start. Not good, I've got a head start on him. Time out. Now this is the second time a recumbent has caught my eye. Now I've come to West Yorkshire, Huddersfield to be exact, famous for having the Tour de Yorkshire here, but also, yeah, you guessed it, the Tour de France. Now the Tour de France happened over there in Hole Moss, one of the famous climbs of the Tour de France. We've also got Scapegoat Hill over there to my left, where in the Tour de Yorkshire, the Wiggins team car didn't actually make it up but uh, we're not going on that hill, we're going on this one. Now this is Bull Green Hill. It's got an average gradient of 13% and it's a bit of a killer of a climb with an epic view in the background. Today we're gonna to do a simple hill climb race. Me versus the recumbent pros. Fastest time to the top of the hill wins. But I'm not racing on my Canyon Ultimate of super lightweight climbing bike. No, I'm taking on with one of these. Now these are low racer recumbent, as is, you can remember from the last time I went on it. <laughs> Smile! I'm smiling! Crashing, crashing! Yeah, it's uh, quite difficult even on a flat, so that should be interesting on the climb. But we've also got one of these, a mean green machine, super fast on the flat, absolutely iconic for going in land speed records. But how good is it? on a climb. Now, I should be uh, finding out. This could be very interesting and uh, you hopefully won't see me suffering behind that little cockpit. So it's been a while since I got on a recumbent, but last time, while well, I had Barney's help. So Barney, it's good to see you from last time. How you been? Good to see you, great. Thank you for sorting out all these recumbents. So it's a bit of a bigger challenge, this, because we're taking on a killer climb, aren't we? Have we ridden, have you ridden this climb before? Not on this bike, but I've ridden it on plenty of uprights and on my old recumbent tandem. So is there any advice you can give me for riding a low racer on a climb? Because while well, it's difficult on the flat, well, it's gonna be a lot more difficult on a climb, isn't it? Relax, keep your weight back in your shoulders, weight in your buttocks, power with those legs. Most importantly, Hank, smile. Yeah. But I'm not going to forget that one. <gasps> yeah, I don't think I'm going to be smiling up that climb though. Before we get onto the hill though, I thought I should get some practice in to refresh my memory. Oh. Do you get that on camera? Don't tell me you got that on camera. Oh, I've forgotten how to do this now. Look up, look where you want to go and smile. Look where you want to go, don't try to steer it, look where you want to go. Right, I think I've got it. Oh, not my car, so I can't crash into it. <laughs> While I was learning to ride a recumbent, again, Jochen and Neil put times down on the climb to compare to mine. Watch out for the gravel. And watch out for the potholes, they'll have you off. Oh, don't, don't go. Oh, sh Right. No, that was not on purpose. <laughs> oh, shit. I think we're good to go, Barney. Just uh, shave off that. Now this is bringing back memories. Yeah, memories of, uh, well, this is the very recumbent I learned to ride a recumbent on. The only thing is I'm a bit scared going up a hill on it. Right, anyway, this is a low racer. So the gears I've got on the front is a 70 tooth and a 40. I've got an eight speed on the, uh, the front with that cassette there. It's got a tiller system for the steering. 
So we've managed to get hold of two low racers. So over there, you've got a slightly lighter one with a bit of added suspension. It's got all the unnecessaries stripped off it, and you've got a slightly different steering mechanism on the front there. So uh, we'll see, really, how it goes. Now, I've got a uh, 406 front wheel and a 559 rear. Right, let's just um, well, see how these go up a climb. <laughs> A little bit nervous about this one. Let's just say uh, this fills me with fear. What I had failed to take into account was that the climb starts at the bottom. And I, yeah, was right at the top. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm just going to cry. Come on now. Nice one, Dale. <laughs> well, if, if, if you hear a shout from off the side of the cliff, you, you'll know who it is. Oh, oh, gosh. Right, I'm good. No, I'm not. Reset. So I've got on the low racer, the one I'm probably most worried about because it's all about balance. I'm in the 4832, so the smallest gear possible. And luckily I've got, uh, well, my angel, my recumbent angel, Barney behind me, who's going to hold me. So I get clipped in and off I go. But let's just be, uh, well, let's be nice to me, yeah? This is harder than it looks. Right, Barney, I'm going to clip in. Yeah. Have you got me? I've got you. You promise? I promise. Right, you ready? Big, big smile, Hank. I'm smiling. I'm ready mate. when you go, mate. Three, two, one, up, off we go. Right, I'm off. I'm off. I'm off, it's a little bit wobbly, but I just gotta look up. Continue to look up and smile. Continue to I'm smiling. I'm looking up. I'm trying to balance. Legs are starting to give in. I might need to just slow it down a little bit. Good! Got a nice little rhythm. I've got a big gear now. I just gotta try and get up. Hit the steepest section. I'm all over the rock. I need that. Time out. Savage. I think I need a smaller gear, but. I was kind of weaving up just to keep going, but it's a bit more difficult lying down and pedaling compared to being over top of the crank. So anyway, first run done. Barney, I think I, Barney, I think I struggled there. Not sure why, but I just couldn't get on top of the gear. I think you might actually have had it in the big chain ring, Hank. So you're running a 70-32. Oh. See, I didn't really focus on what gear I was in. I was more focused on just holding the balance. <laughs> I saw you weaving away there, so close to the back of the car. Excellent effort, mate. So maybe if I go for a smaller gear, that might help a little bit. Yeah, if we get you on the 48 Toother, and then you can choose from the, the block more easily as you come up next time. Yeah. To be fair, you did well, though. Thanks, mate. I mean, it didn't feel good, though. <laughs> we loved it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, next run. In hope for more success, for the next run, I chose the Alpha 7. So you guys, find me in this green machine. This is an Alpha fully fed Velomobile, and it is a rapid bike on the flat. You can top out around 50 miles per hour with this gearing. And on the point of gearing, I've got an 11 speed set on the back, and I've got a double chain ring on the front. I've got a 65 and a 34, so I'm hoping I can make it up that 13% climb in this absolute speed merchant. But the great thing about these as well is you can store your packed lunch in the back. For this challenge, nah, I'm going fully lightweight. I'm just headed to the bottom of the climb. This is, uh, <laughs> it's quite fun going downhill. I mean, I feel like I'm in a little uh, carbon coffin. Ah! Oh! Right. At this point though, I realized the turning circle, yeah, isn't that great. <laughs> All right, spin me around. 
This is where GCM presenters come in useful. Thanks, man. On. Right, my uh, next run is in the Alpha. Now, the problem with being in a fully fed carbon coffin is, well, I get no signal for my mic, so I've uh, strapped it to the top. It is starting to rain though, so I've got to get a shivvy on, but luckily I've got a little uh, nice little hideaway in here. Right, without further ado, let's kick off. How fast can I get up in the fully fed Alpha? Three, two, one, let's go! Up, 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 up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Right, getting nice and aero now. Feeling good, feeling fast. Aerodynamics isn't working too much in my favour in this speed. I've got a fairly good workout. Right, go past these guys. Right, let's pick it up now. I don't know what speed I'm going, but it feels fast. Black tape is in. All over, all over the leg. I'm starting to weaken, but okay. I think I started off too quick. Come on, James. Come on. Come on, Hank. My granny could walk faster. Uh, please tell me this is the top. Right. It's fair to say that was pretty savage. <laughs> so what are my thoughts on riding the Alpha up our killer climb? Well, let's just say it's not using its aerodynamic advantage to full potential. I mean, I'm sitting at about five to eight mile an hour. So uh, yeah, let's say the aerodynamic drag is not going to be huge. It's quite hard because lying down and pedaling with the crank set so far ahead of you, it's so difficult to get on top of the gear. And it's a lot different to a normal, it's generic and uh, well, the bike that I'm always used to. So yeah, it's a bit different to get my uh, legs going in, well, the right motion as it were. But I made it up, I didn't fall off like the last one. Um, uh, but yeah, it was tough. As you can tell, I'm still out of breath. Whew. After catching my breath, Jochen challenged me to a race. Scared of wiping him out with that low racer, I chose to pilot the Alpha. Right, we thought it'd be rude not to give you guys a race up this climb. Now I'm taking on Jochen from the Human Powered Club. Now uh, he's on his low racer. Now I've gone for the fully fed Alpha. I'm hoping that these aerodynamic advantages are gonna work in my favor. Who knows? Well, it's all going to be up to this very race. We've got Izzy on the flag. Are we ready? Three. You ready, Rockin'? Two. One. Up, 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 up. Right, he's got a head start. Rockin', I've got a head start on him. He's starting to spin out. Rockin', still in my wing. He's going past me now. He's going past me. No. We're going about 100 RPM. He's taking the lead. Oh, no. This is where I start to struggle now. Jochen's taking the lead. Come on! Jochen's left me in his wing mirror. I'm slowing down. Come on. This steepness really hurt my legs. Little tire slip. You can see the finish. Fair to say, Jochen from the Human Power Club has beaten me on his low racer. Got great support from the local cyclists. Now, I'm going to be in this carbon coffin for a while. I'll see you guys in a bit. What an incredible day we've had here in West Yorkshire. Thank you so much. 
to these guys. We've got Jochen, Neil and Barney also. We've got Ian there who's been helping with mechanics also. But it's been an incredible day with a view across the Pennines. But what we really want to know is how did these bicycles, contraptions get on with our killer climb. Barney, are you going to put me out of our misery? So Jochen on the speed machine was today's speedy man, three minutes and nine seconds. <sighs> Solid time. Neil in the lightweight carbon alpha, three minutes 37. Good time. My time on the alpha was four minutes and two seconds. Nearly 30 seconds back on Neil. Yeah, let's just say experience really pays off. And I'm afraid to say, Hank, at four minutes we had to stop the clock because of all of your falls. Uh, right, yeah, about that. I think I've added to my uh, scrapes, scars and bruises um, with that one. Anyway, I've really, really enjoyed it. Make sure though, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up. And we want to know if you want to see more recumbent films. So let us know in the comment section below. But Barney, I hear you've got something for me to try before I leave West Yorkshire. So before you leave, this being Yorkshire Day, we've got you some Yorkshire Growler. <sighs> Yorkshire? Growler. Good solid pie, oh, mate. Oh, thanks, Izzy. Well, well, that's the biggest growler I've ever seen.